for me, motherfucking nine. It's got the proof. I'm a wild all day when I have to go. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Cock his back and blow. Two shots in your chest when you fuck the drop. Two motherfucking shots with a lovely Glock. I don't really give a fuck. I tell the truth all the time. I ain't gotta spit no lies, nigga. Fuck it, the line. Front line one time, I be busting on. And these motherfuckers real, they get busted on. But they fake, so I don't give a fuck. You know, at the camp I was sipping on a gang of food. My name is uh, Leo Val Moival. I'm a full-time police officer with the Los Angeles Police Department. From a police officer's point of perspective, it's uh, realistic. I think the producer and director are doing a great job trying to uh, bring out what the reality of it is on the street instead of trying to make something up. Uh, when I was down at the South Central uh, 77 Division working the crash unit there, I was dealing with a 10-year-old kid that had uh, older bro two older brothers that were in prison. And uh, when I came in contact with this kid, I think um, I got a little bit personally involved with it, trying to deter him from going the same route his older brothers went. And um, I tried for about a year and a half, and then come to find out this kid got shot at the park next to where he used to live. And to me, I felt like a failure as a police officer and as an individual, but there's only so much that we could do as police officers. Oh, she's checking the chamber. Everybody see it's an empty chamber? Safe weapon. Okay, boo. Okay. How you like being a dead man? Hey, it's cool though, you know what I'm saying? Gang tight, baby. Hollywood can create anything. But sometimes, like this independent film, you're doing something that's a project that is about the project, about the message. I think that gang tapes can help make it a little better. And that's what I'm here to help do. Roll sound. Weapon is up. One round. Fire in the hole. And mark it. Mark. Set here. Right at him? Yeah, call it. And right, ready? Man. Three, two. Oh, shit, my baby. Cut, cut, oh, cut. Shit. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, just Mark it. Mark. Huh? Second. Oh shit, my baby! Oh my god, so my, my fucking baby! What does the movie mean to me? Well, in the beginning, when it was brought to me, it meant creating a visual of that life that is so horrific. You know, the brutality is what needs to be shown for these young cats can see the reality is that how you really want to live. And I've seen other projects, but I think they stop two steps from taking it to the max. Take it to the max. Show them that, you know, death is death and death is real and ain't no empathy, ain't no happy ending. It means if they can do that and accomplish that, that reality, that they can put that up on the screen, that you may not stop the older cat that's already chose, but you might stop the younger dude that's making the choice. Like, man, I don't do that, man. I thought you thought it was all glamorous and it's all about riding. No, man, it's about watching your back. It's about shooting people. It's about your mama might get killed. It's about all the other negativity that those G's not telling you. It could really do some good if uh, that little nine-year-old decides to go the other way because he saw this flick. I used to have dreams to be a motherfucking teacher, but it couldn't afford a navy with all the special features. So I stopped dreaming and I started thinking. Cause when reality hit, my fantasies started shrinking. Cause time is short and I ain't got much further. I go to Thug University. Nigga, fuck Harvard. Cause niggas got degrees and they still ain't happy. So I'd rather make this cheese and try to be a good daddy. See, you can call me fool, but I'ma call you sucker. 19 years of school and still a broke motherfucker. See, I done played the game and overcame my pain. I done survived these streets, bitch. Now put that on your brain. They say you only live once, but I'ma live life twice. Cause I can 
can breathe through my kids and I can see through my wife. A lot of stress in my life had me acting this way. Sunlight tonight, dark brown to gray, even though I regret most of the shit that I did, but from adult to a kid, I didn't choose the type of life I lived. The shit that I seen wasn't cool, wasn't keen. My big brother got killed and I can still hear my mama scream at night. I pray. I don't sleep, I just lay in the bed looking straight, contemplating on a way to give hope to the youth and help all the lost souls. To tell you the truth, I wouldn't have never took this road because this game is scary and this world is real. Everybody don't make it. A lot of niggas get killed and I'm going to tell you the real and true niggas going to feel every word that I spill because real niggas love the real. You know, we're taking this to the next level. You know, it's more than a film and it's, it's different than a documentary.